while we are waiting for Season 7 trailer, which should be published in the following days, new Season 7 photos have been released a few hours ago. Let's start with the most interesting and the most exciting photo among those new 7 photos, which is the near Sargerian mounted on Dragon during a battle. Now, before I focus on a battle, let me just highlight obvious fact. As we can see in this photo, Drogon is enormous in Season 7, much bigger than the last time we saw him. This is actually not that surprising, since a few months ago director Matt Shackman, who directed the 4th and the 5th episode of the upcoming season, said, the dragons this year are the size of 747s. Shackman also said, Drogon is the biggest of the bunch, his flame is 30 feet in diameter. For all of you that did not watch my previous videos, for all of you that are wondering whose army is Drogon burning alive, let me introduce you with it in a few sentences. In the upcoming season, Lady Lena Terrell, the sole survivor of House Terrell, will be betrayed by House Starly of Horn Hill, one of the most powerful vessel houses who swore filthy to House Terrell. Upon betraying their sworn house, Randall Tarly, the head of House Starly, will become one of the new Lancer's allies, which is not that surprising since Randall has always despised Terrell women. Beside Randall being awarded with place in small council, as I've already reported a few times, the result of this alliance is going to be Jamie Lannister leading Lannister army, along with Randall and Deacon Tarly leading their Tarly army, they are going to march on Highgarden. Long story short, Jamie and Randall will outnumber Tarly soldiers and will conquer Highgarden, which should not be surprising at all, mostly because their armies will outnumber Tarly army and also both, Jamie and Randall have a lot of military experience, especially Randall Tarly who has a formidable reputation as a general and is known as one of the best battle commanders in all of the Seven Kingdoms. However, after they are going to conquer Highgarden, and after Jamie allows Lady Olena to drink poison before getting captured, Jamie and Randall with their armies will march back home with the carriages full of goods looted from Highgarden. While they are heading home, Daenerys' army will attack Jamie's and Randall's armies and take an opportunity to fight them on the open field and to avenge her ally. This huge battle will start with a tracky ambush, but during the battle, Daenerys will also appear riding Drogon. This battle will end with a lot of casualties for both sides, but it's certainly going to be Daenerys' victory. During this battle, Randall and Dinkon Tarly are going to get captured, while Bronn will save Jaime from almost getting killed, whereupon they are going to escape and go to Casterly Rock, the ancestral stronghold of House Lannister that we are finally going to see in the upcoming season. If you would like to know more details about Highgarden and Casterly Rock, seats of two great houses that we are finally going to see in the seventh season, as well as the main reasons that will lead Cersei to decide to conquer Highgarden, make sure to check out my previous videos. However, while Jaime and Bran will manage to escape in the heat of the battle, Randall and Dickon will not be that lucky. Randall Tarly will most probably be burnt alive by Danny's dragon as a result of his betrayal over his sworn house Tyrell and for pledging his army to the Lannisters, while Randall's son, Deacon Tarly, will most likely get a chance to bend the knee and to swear fealty to Daenerys whereupon he is going to become the new lord of the Horn Hill. If you would like to hear more details about this battle, about the death of Randall Tarly and Olena Tyrell, feel free to check out my video by the name Season 7 Confirmed Deaths. There is also a photo of Jon Snow either leaving Winterfell as he will in the first episodes go to Dragonstone to meet with Daenerys or returning to Winterfell at some point during the upcoming season. Let's continue with a photo of Arya Stark mounted up and on the road to somewhere, while her certain location is unknown, depending on the episode from which it's taken. If this photo is taken from the scene which we are going to see in the middle or final episodes of the upcoming season, it might be in the north at Winterfell, but if this photo is from the scene that we are going to see in the first episodes, it can also be in the Riverlands. In my opinion, this is Arya leaving the Riverlands, to be exact, leaving Riveran, the former seat of House Tully, as upon killing the phrase, she will most likely release her uncle Edmir Tully, head of House Tully and the Lord of Riveran, who is Frey's prisoner, situated in one of the cells, as Walder Frey mentioned himself. There's also a photo of Jaime protecting the new ruler and, if we can even call her the protector of the Seven Kingdoms, which if you're wondering why is he still by your side, why doesn't he finally turn back on Cersei, you can check out in my previous videos, a similar photo has already been released a few weeks ago, or you can also check out my theory in which I also explained why Jaime will not turn his back on Cersei in the first episodes, but will kill her at the end of the upcoming season, name of the video is New Red Wedding in Season 7. The remaining three photos are containing Wendell and Christie, or more familiar to us, Brienne of Tarte on the set of Winterfell, either having a break or preparing for the shooting. 
Then we have Christopher Hivju or more familiar Tormund who is also on the set of Winterfell and in the end we have Littlefinger and Sansa Stark, similar to a photo that has been released a few weeks ago. If you would like to hear more details about Daenerys' ambush on Jaime Lannister and Randall Tarly or would like to hear more details about Lady Olena's death or if you would like to know how Sansa is finally going to start playing the game and how the Stark sisters will kill Peter Baelish, feel free to check out my previous videos for more details.